Now we're going to talk about how to use your crutches if you are using a partial weight bearing or toe touch weight bearing gait, okay, where we can put a little bit of pressure on the affected leg. Now it's important when you walk with your crutches and you're putting weight on that leg that the leg that is affected follows the crutches, almost like there's a rope tied from the crutches to that foot and they follow each other, okay. The other part that is very important is that the weight needs to be going through the hands, especially when the affected leg is touching the floor between the crutches. Okay, so we're going to start with what we call a step two gait, okay, where we just move the crutches ahead with the affected leg and then we step two with the unaffected leg. Step again, go this way. Good, so we're putting pressure through the arms. The affected leg is following the crutches just like that. Now stop. As you feel more comfortable with the step two, then we're going to get into a step through, okay, where we bring the foot ahead with the crutches, but the unaffected leg is going to come past the crutches, which is much better at normalizing the way you walk, and it's going to be better for when you get off of the crutches to get into a more normal walking posture. So now we're going to do a step through. So crutches and the bad leg, the left one will come through. Good. Good, and that is a step through gait, and that is partial weight bearing. And so that is how we do this when you are instructed to go partial weight bearing or just toe touch weight bearing. Thanks a lot.